Hi, I'm Joe Walensky, and I'm the program manager for Convey UX, and that's Seattle's annual user experience conference. We're coming up on our seventh year. That's going to be March 11th, 12th, and 13th. And one of the fun things I get to do is to uh, talk with many of the speakers that will be at the event. And today I'm speaking with two of them, and that includes Capri Burrell and also Jennifer Oda Digby. It's good to uh, have you involved. I'm uh, speaking from Blink's downtown Seattle uh, office. Blink's the uh, prince uh, is the uh, producer of Convey UX. Uh, maybe we'll start with uh, Capri. You can tell us a little bit about your background and and where the two of you are right now. Sure. So again, yeah, I'm Capri Burrell. I'm currently a user experience researcher um, here at Google in Silicon Valley. Um, although I'm a Seattle native, so <laughs> very familiar with the Seattle UX scene. Um, I got my start in UX, gosh, almost um, 10 years ago now um, up in Seattle. I was a student at the Human Center of Design and Engineering program at UW. Uh, I worked at a number of um, organizations up in Seattle doing user experience um, and focusing on mostly consumer research, um, which is a departure from what I'm doing now, as we'll explain later. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about me. Mm -hmm. And about me, my name is Jennifer Odetikbe, as you mentioned, and uh, I'm also a user experience researcher here at Google. And um, my background is uh, that I actually started out in engineering. And um, even though studied engineering, I'd always had a strong interest in the intersection of the technology we were developing and people and how people thought about the technology and design. And so um, throughout my careers, I always found myself in this kind of cross-disciplinary intersection trying to bring these three pieces together. And um, over the years, it uh, kind of evolved to me getting into user experience. First as a generalist, so I did design and research, and now I focus primarily in the research space. Well, it's good to uh, have both of you involved in the program, and uh, I think you're uh, bringing a very interesting topic. Uh, one is that it's uh, related to uh, the uh, enterprise, and that's one of the uh, uh, interest areas that we have uh, as part of the uh, conference program. And it's also about AI, which is uh, something that more and more people are interested in. So the title is the UX for AI, an Enterprise Survival Guide. So uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about how you came around to this topic, how it's relevant to the things you do, and what we can expect to learn from it. Sure. So I guess as I kind of um, intimated, we're both focused on the enterprise side of the business, um, and particularly on uh, machine learning and AI applications for enterprise. Um, so to that extent, we support a number of products and, and platforms um, that you know, are used by, again, these large entities. Um, we look at things such as workflow, right? We look at things that are very similar across UX, like task analysis or, you know, particular segments or addressable markets um, for these particular technologies. So again, it's, it's very enterprise specific and again, a, a unique departure from consumer. And I think there are some really interesting mm -hmm. ways um, we can be very strategic as, as researchers to help identify um, ways for enterprise to adopt these new technologies in ways that kind of meet them where they are in terms of um, their organization and, and the resources that they have. Mm -hmm. And as part of that, um, you know, some of the learning outcomes that we have for our session is really to kind of leverage the things Capri and I have learned in our respective areas working in enterprise, um, helping or enabling um, creators um, to really leverage AI machine learning into their applications. And you know, some of the things we'll talk about are the challenges that um, we faced and that other people who try to do the same thing might face in um, uh, integrating AI into their research and UX efforts. Um, and the, the challenges specific to doing AI in the enterprise. Uh, we'll also talk a little bit about the lessons learned, some things that we picked up along the way, just things that uh, you do differently when you're thinking about AI and the enterprise and user experience, and then also things that you do the same. 
I think one of the interesting things we picked up on is that it's a very complex domain and it's very, um, very curious about what kind of standard methodologies and practices still apply versus what new ones do we have to craft in order to ensure that we have the right research insights to inform the user experience design of these uh, new products. And then also, uh -huh. go ahead. Oh, and also there's many opportunities too. You know, this is an emerging space. Um, there are a lot of uh, open questions, unanswered questions. So um, while there are challenges in this area, there are also a tremendous amount of opportunities. So we hope to let um, the participants know a little bit about these. Well, it's always great when we're able to uh, find some uh, real world uh, experiences about UX in, in the enterprise, it's, it's not always uh, that easy to find those kind of talks. They tend to be more uh, consumer-based mm -hmm. that we find, and, and so it's great to have that involved. Now, I have a question just kind of uh, generally about how that might be defined either, you know, within Google or or to yourselves or your group. Um, obviously, uh, you know, there's there's some very uh, big differences between the consumer side and enterprise, but then at some point those uh, edges kind of blur and come together. And I was just wondering if, uh, you know, it's identified as, uh, you know, uh, separate ways of thinking about products explicitly or implicitly uh, in, in the work that you do. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you want to go first or you can take that one? <laughs> yeah, well, that's a very interesting question, one that we hope to touch on um, through, the, through the presentation. Um, just to give you one example. So one example is scale. Um, when you're talking about the enterprise side, um, you generally are thinking about a scale that is um, it's broader than the consumer scale and the number and the kinds of stakeholders that you're dealing with are very different. The kinds of use cases, you're no longer thinking about just the end customer's use case, but there's an intermediary who's trying to service the end customer and how do you meet both their needs and the needs of the end customer. I would say that's the biggest takeaway that there are different levels that you have to factor into your research, just getting one angle will fully help you to develop a product that's going to meet the needs of this cascading um, series of stakeholders. And another thing to that point, um, I think a big point of departure for me has been that we focus on tools that are work tools, right? They're things that people need to use in order to get a job done that they're then evaluated on and then they, you know, they receive uh, an income from, right? Mm -hmm. So the stakes are really high when you're working on these tools um, where, you know, people are using them for eight to 10 hours a day versus a consumer product that kind of fills mm -hmm. in a gap. You know, you need to watch a TV program or you need to buy cat food or something, right? Uh, the stakes aren't necessarily as high. Um, and so, you know, I think it has trickle down effects from kind of the senior leadership, right? Who put their kind of reputations online for getting behind a certain technology or a certain platform, mm -hmm. right? And if that doesn't work out well, there are consequences to that. You know, the cost of switching is very high. Mm -hmm. um, the cost of integrating a particular uh, platform into often, you know, very rigid business processes. These are all very difficult problems that you really don't see in the consumer space with mm -hmm. consumer products. I think you did a really good job of uh, articulating two uh, very important aspects uh, separating enterprise from consumer. So uh, that just uh, makes it uh, more interesting to think about what you'll have to offer at the session. So I appreciate you uh, taking the time to uh, do this preview interview with me. And uh, we'll look forward to having both of you in Seattle in March. Yeah, awesome. Same here. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Joe.